Well, let's talk about one of the best matches in the history of wrestling. It's the undertaker and Shawn Michaels. It finally happened at WrestleMania. That's WrestleMania 25. It's the match that when it was over, Bobby Heenan said is the greatest match he ever saw. It's a match that when it was over, Shawn Michaels told his wife on the drive home. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to top that. They go 30 minutes and 41 seconds. There's dueling chance. The crowd is standing for a lot of the match. Undertaker gets the biggest reaction on the show, except for stone cold. There's a great series of moves and reverses. I mean, we really just can't do this one justice. I want to encourage you to go out of your way to watch it. I, uh, I can't believe as silly as this is, I got to at least mention it got four and three quarter stars in the, observer. <laughs> I don't know how this wasn't a five-star match. If this isn't a five-star match, I don't think I know what one looks like. what do you think? I agree with that. I, I don't know what, uh, what they didn't do to take away that quarter of a point. If it's a big deal and we make it a big deal. Cause we talk about how many stars that Melcher uh, anoints a match. And, and, and I, like I said, all along, uh, Dave is an expert. He is, and he has a right to his opinion, whether we agree or not agree is irrelevant, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, that was a five-star match in my book for sure. Like I said, I've called a lot of great ones. Uh, I've been lucky to have the assignments to call a lot of great matches. I never called a, a greater match than that one. Uh, Undertaker and Sean, I don't think we talk about it enough. Uh, again, if, <clears throat> if I had a wrestling school or a territory, that match would be required viewing. Yes. Study it, understand the, how they, how these guys did their transitions was brilliant. Meaning this folks, Michaels is on the offense in this picture on YouTube, dropping an elbow on Taker who's wait patiently waiting. Uh, but when Sean's on the offense, how does he get to, to, how do you transfer and into selling? How do you, how do you make that? How do you make that, that transformation and has that match evolve? What do you, what did you do to get Sean in trouble? So Taker could take advantage. Those transitions were brilliant. So if you watch this match, watch how they change from offense to defense, almost seamlessly. And the, always connect the dots. Look at the height of that, man. That's that's teamwork right there. There's not a lot of guys would go up that high because they know they're going to be slammed very hard. But uh, Sean's a gamer, man. He's That's why many people consider him the best that's ever been in the ring. And uh, I'm sure Tucker on this night, certainly using this night as an illustration, uh, that was a great facial expression there, again, on YouTube. Take, I think Sean just kicked out. And that was the expression that Tucker gave us priceless, priceless. Go out of your way to see this one. If you haven't seen it in a long time, it's worth another look. This is about as perfect of a WrestleMania match as you can get. Meltzer would point out that the undertaker goes for another tombstone, but Sean counters with a DDT and quote, that spot was botched, but goodness gracious, uh, uh four and three quarter stars. How I many spots did they get right? Conrad. How many spots? Yeah, the rest of them. Yes. Oh, let's not talk about any of those motherfuckers. Well, it's also worth mentioning too. In a real fight, everything's not going to look smooth and perfect. Oh, well, that's true. In a real fight, I mean, if you've watched UFC, there's long stretches where guys are just seemingly laying on top of each other. They're struggling. It's a real fight. And in a real struggle, it doesn't look like Cirque du Soleil. It's not supposed to. That's right. Either way, I encourage you to go watch this one. It is unbelievable and I love it, but I also feel bad for who had to follow it. It's John Cena in a three-way for the world title with edge and big show. John Cena wins. He comes up with an Eminem style ring entrance. Uh, there's uh, like 200 Cena like clones out <laughs> here. Uh, it's pretty fun. I enjoyed the entrance and, uh, the match is what it is. It's three and a quarter stars. Um, the uh, scene is going to give the attitude adjustment to show and then did give you notice Conrad, excuse me. Did you notice those, uh, AWA like t-shirts Isn't that great? Yeah, that was pretty, that's a nice little touch right there. Uh, that's the exact replica of the old AWA standard t-shirt back in the day. But all this did for me was these guys took up space. Uh, they had to have a locker room. 
I was and, thinking that, like with all the lumberjacks and the tag team match, oh, shit. and then 25 divas, and now 200 John Cena's. It's like the backstage the area is a fucking arena by itself. Cast the thousands, and it was overkill. Yeah. Now, luckily for me and Cole and Lawler, we were far away from all that shit. Yeah. We were we were in at ringside or somewhere down in there. And uh, so anyway, it was uh, it was a crowded night. I, I guess we're lucky that we had the damn thing in the stadium because they had more more locker room space. Yeah, I mean, I guess lucky's the word. Uh, we're also <laughs> lucky that we got just a second. We did get the visual just a second of Cena having both Big Show and Edge on his back. Of course, Edge is going to fall off, so he'll do the move to both guys separately. But you can see they tried something, and boy, we're talking freaking superhero strength for John Cena to do that. Stuff. Um, a normal human being collapses under all that weight and they're in damn traction. John Cena is not that guy. Did you see what John Cena wrote on the cover of my book? Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It was heartwarming. I, yeah, I, got, te I got tears in my eyes. You know, I really did. When I met John Cena, he was a uh, moving furniture. Okay. Not the old wrestling term, but he was, you know, bodybuilding and personal trainer. And, but he is, I think it's, primary gig was working as a furniture mover mm -hmm. and going to Rick Bassett school down there in Cal and Southern California. Uh, but he's freakishly strong when at his best, I don't know that we ever had anybody stronger. He's, he's scary. You know, one of, the, <clears throat> one of the reasons I hired John Cena was I got a recommendation from his old, one of his old college coaches who had got taken a job at Oklahoma. He's still there, Scott Kolak. And, uh, he, uh, I said, this kid is uh, trying to get a job with us. And he went to your old school. Who was it? I, <clears throat> he said, I think I know who it was. And it was, of course he was right. It was John. So, uh, I got probably the most rousing in, uh, endorsement Conrad that I ever got for a talent. First guy in the locker room, first guy in the weight room, last guy to leave team captain played center. Cena was a center and an all-American and he's not an oversized center. He was pretty lean, but he was strong as a bull. So, uh, that, that spot was one that I'll never forget. That spot was probably the most memorable thing that we're seeing right here. Uh, that one of the most memorable things I could recall out of WrestleMania as a singular spot. So, uh, it's pretty damn amazing. 